what the law says. Man yeah, or woman. Law, so in the column you say, so it would be a crime to offend a trans woman or a male yeah. who feels that he's a woman, but it won't be a crime to target a biological woman with the same hatred. With the sort of, sort of hatred that women who go out to defend women's safe spaces, changing rooms, um, sports, uh, prisons, domestic shelter refuges, domestic domestic violence refuges, the women who, who get the kind of abuse that they get from men in dresses at these events, those women will not be protected. So here's the reality, Neil, that a man who believes he's a woman has more rights as a woman than a woman who is a biological woman. Mm-hmm. Go, go figure. But won't, you know, with regards to the sport aspect, hasn't it been said that all of the different codes will be allowed to decide themselves as, who, as to who is allowed to play and participate in female sports? You know, like yes. because because I'm noticing a lot more of the sports are coming out and saying, you know, we really want single sex sports and maybe we need a different code entirely because it's unfair with regards to competition if we have, um, you know, if we're all inclusive in this regard. It, it, it almost will be, they'll decide themselves, won't they? I mean, it is, again, I would say self-evident that the reason that, that, that male and female sports developed in this, along distinct lines in the first place is because male and female are physically different with different strengths and different abilities. I don't know if you saw recently there was a young Irish um, darts I did player, see that, yeah. Female. Yeah. In, yeah. I mean, she lost out to a man in a dress who calls himself a woman um, who, 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 won the, who competed and won the female darts competition. Now, I mean, obviously, as, as a male person who has had the benefit of testosterone and, and extra growth, longer reach, taller, stronger, that is totally unfair. And that is what, that, but that is what, in future, somebody like me under this hate law saying that, I could be prosecuted for saying that because I'm going to hurt his feelings. So this conversation could be a prosecutable conversation then after the hate yes. spill legislation is but passed, could it? I know that there'll be somebody who will try and say, okay. you know, she called, she called him a man. Yeah. So, yeah. so single sex sports, changing rooms is another aspect. You, you spoke about yeah. domestic violence refuges, and you also because this is very much the case. Um, trans women, who you would say are a man, in women's prisons. You would say about a man too, Neil. If you're if you're being honest, go on anyway. I mean, I, I certainly would have. I certainly would have issues with regards to competitiveness in sport. For sure, I would. I mean, I think sport should be fair to all. But d- these are the different you aspects. Can I, ask you, can I ask you? Do you believe that a man who gets a bit of paper from Roderick Gorman becomes a woman in the same authentic sense as I'm a woman? Do you believe? That? I don't think it's the same. No, I really don't. No, I don't. I mean, it can't be. Can't be. The, how can it be the same? Yeah, I don't believe. I mean, they're trans women. Call them trans women. Happy to go with that, but but not women. But and at what stage do they not want to be called anything but trans women? They they, they insist trans women are women. Are okay. women? Yeah. They're not not they're not trans women. They're women, and they're every bit as entitled to have the, to all the same protections as women. All of which, of course, are based on women's separate biology, separate strength, separate needs, separate physical needs. I mean, I don't know how some, some, uh, an organisation like the National Women's Council, which believes that anybody which identifies as, who identifies as a woman is a woman, including male-bodied people, can advocate for women's health, for example. I mean, then if, 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 if women have, have penises and prostates as well as breasts and, and vaginas, then you're talking about general health. So you cannot advocate for women's health if you don't believe there's a physical difference between men and women. But what, but, but what about those that desperately do feel as if they are in the wrong gender and, 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 yeah. and, 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 and really want to have a happier life by changing or living differently? Surely be to God we should be embracing about that if, if they're happy. And it's, I, I know that there are issues regarding prison and ch- changing areas and, and sport, and, but surely there should be some compassion and some way of facilitating people like that. But here's the thing, Neil. I mean, they have always been living amongst us. I have to say, 30 odd years ago, I did an interview with possibly the first transsexual, as we were called at the time, to come out openly and speak about the experience of the, the transition in this country. And it was met with nothing but compassion. And I've, I've, I know over the years, there have been lots of 
trans women who have quietly, you know, used women's facilities with no fuss. The difficulty is now, the difference is now that I, a, I do not believe that the, the majority of these male trans activists are genuine. I think there's some kind of fetishism going on. But also they insist on going into women's Why? toilets, posting pictures of themselves and, and, and saying things like, you know, I won't actually quote the kind of thing that they say when they post these videos of themselves in women's toilets clearly showing off their male genitalia. Okay, so these are the trans activists that you refer to in the co- in your column um, who yes. here and in, in Scotland will be allowed then to engage in abusive, threatening and assaulting okay. women who dare to campaign for the likes of single sex sports and things like that. Yeah. And they're the ones, those men in the dresses are the ones whose rights as women will be preferred over my right as a woman to object to them coming into a woman's changing room and, or it, it, I'm walking around half naked yeah. and sitting staring at little girls changing. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd be... That there, that there, but that will be a section of the um, people that we're talking oh, yeah, about. Not, not, like not, all, yeah. not all of them. Others will live yeah. their lives quietly. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm just tr- I'm just trying to see it through somebody else's eyes here. They'd live their lives quietly and much happier in their chosen yes. sex. Yes, they do. Uh, they do absolutely. They do, um, and, and 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 that's not to say that they should, you know, hide or be ashamed of themselves. Not at all. But the people who are damaging them, the no question, the people who are damaging their cause, are, to, to my mind, they're they're, they're the the aggressive. Clearly male, clearly aggressive male fetishists who who challenge women who who, who don't agree with them, mm. and who who dispute the fact that putting on a dress and sticking on a bit of lipstick makes you a woman. Look at that case last year where the Tory uh, woman candidate took issue with the fact that a, a, a chap who had previously stood as, as a Tory candidate reinvented himself as a proud uh, lesbian uh, and was standing for the Greens. So he had simply stuck a wig on his head and a dress. He hadn't got a gender recognition cert. He still doesn't. He's calling himself Melissa. When she tweeted that, she was investigated by the police. She said, you know, I'm pretty confident that my constituents know the difference between men and women um, and she was investigated by the police for saying this was a man in a dress, it's a man in a dress Do you think there'd be chaos then um, in Scotland and subsequently here if it were to happen here for the Garda Shikona, I mean they're stretched enough as it is, um, is it, it, can, it, would it be, an, can, can people make anonymous calls about uh, a tweet or a, a post or a video or they could hurt, hurt a conversation third hand kind of thing. Is that what we're talking about? Well, well, we don't know that. I mean, yes, it's possible. In in the UK, I know they have things called non-crime hate incidents, which you can be in, in, investigated for. I mean, I always thought if something is not a crime, really the guards should stay out of this. So, but you can, you know, and that is purely subjective based on somebody feeling that they've been offended. So the, the answer is we don't know, but a lot will hinge on what happens to J.K. Rowling because she has definitely gone out of her way to... You know, to, okay, to, I'll, to I'll, engage the law. I'll, I'll, I'll come.